Ladies and gentlemen, I have the best news for all of you, and that is Java finally updated their website. But wait, there's something weirdly off about this. I don't- Holy sh**, the footer, it's in the middle of the f***ing page. Oh, for God's sake. Now, beside the fact that most companies are still using Java 8, Java 21 is literally amazing. Wanna know why? Go read the documentation, bitch. Well, remember all the memes and fun we used to make about writing a hello world program? Well, now it's gone. To make a hello world website, all you have to do now is write void main, then print your hello world. So that means no more classes to make you up again. The problem is, it doesn't always work. With more complex tasks, you will need the old way of writing hello world for example. And that's good news because I can still make fun of Java and get paid. Now one of the features of Java 21 include virtual threads. Basically it's a new way of managing concurrency in Java. They are lightweight threads that can be created and destroyed quickly without the overhead of creating and managing full blown threads. This makes them ideal for applications that need to handle a large number of concurrent requests. Here's how to do it. It. Create a file called virtual thread and open it. Create your virtual thread class. Define the main method inside of it. Now the main method creates an executor service object. This object is used to manage virtual threads. Now to be able to use the virtual thread, you have to create a method called executors.newFixedThread pool. Then just create a loop that prints hello 10 times. Then to stop the thread from accepting new tasks, just call the shutdown method. Now if you run the code, it won't work because you have to import the executor service and the executor. And you're good, daddy. Anyways, there's a bunch of other new features like record patterns, patterns matching for switch, and sequence collections. These all are new features that came along with the new JDK version 21. The thing is, even Java is finding a new way to our hearts, and you can't even find a girlfriend. Now, I don't really recommend installing Java 21, but for the sake of nothing, I'll show you. Go to the Java website and download the early access zip file. Now, go ahead and extract this and copy its path and head over to your system environments, click on path and add it. Make sure to delete all the old JDK and Java paths you may already have. Now just go ahead and use it into your terminal because there is no ID that actually supports this version of Java. So the best you can do is to write your Java file into VS Code and run it using the terminal while ignoring the red lines under each line of code. To do that just navigate to your file folder and write Java C dash dash release 21 dash dash enable preview virtual threads.java. Now this is to save the project. Now to run it just write java dash dash enable dash preview virtual threads. And here you go, your code is all good. Now an important note here is whenever you make a change to the code, you'll have to run this process all over again and that's why I'm losing a subscriber. Now when I made this video, I really could have used the help of a java developer to take some weight off my shoulder. So if you want to help me in future videos, make sure to join my discord server down below. And if you want me to be your personal mentor, make Make sure to visit my mentorship program down below and thank you for watching, I'll catch you up in the next one.